You wanna keep it real. You know the deal. Keep you up on yeah. It won't be the same. Say what's the next clean call? 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 Advice from a fuck Ladies and gentlemen, you tuned into a new episode of Advice from a Fuckboy. This is your favorite fuckboy, Clint Coley, a.k.a. the Gallus Dem Sugar, a.k.a. the People's Champion, a.k.a. the hardest working man in show business, a.k.a. Mr. Herm's son. Um, if you're if you're so I'm on Instagram real quick. Uh, if you're on Instagram, there's a link that's pinned, right? I'm on Twitch. Can you come over? I'm purposely not showing my face. I'm gonna show it now. <laughs> Bring your ass on Twitch. Click the link and let's go. Now Click the link. Okay, all right, all right, all right. Before we get into this podcast, though, we gotta first shout out one thing. This podcast, ladies and gentlemen, is brought to you by Glitz Optical. People always be like, Clint, where did you get your glasses from? Where did you get the frames? I call these the Tony Starks. The Tony Starks? I call these the Tony Starks. <laughs> I call these the Iron Mans. I call these the ghost face killers. If you're a real if you're a real, real hip-hop fan, you know what I'm talking about. Here's where I got the Tony Starks from. I got it from Glitz Optical. Black-owned business, black woman-owned business at that. Now, let me tell y'all something, all right? Here's the thing. This not no chick just, just selling glasses. No. She don't just sell glasses. This is called Glitz Optical. Optical, meaning that they are they take special care with your eyes, with your optics. Right. Go follow them on Instagram at Glitz Optical, G L I T Z O P T I C A L. Do me a favor and hit them up and get your free consultation. Um, yeah, consultation free. I, I, I you know, I say that because <laughs> normally on 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 ads they be like it's a free consultation. Absolutely. They be like yo, it's a free consultation. Like the Chinese places, they offer you the free little. Yeah, it's a free consultation. Yeah, so they. Yeah, exactly. Uh, also, don't forget, y'all. Y'all already know that the best part about staying at home is playing at home. Um, vaginas, pussies, penises. Uh, AdamEve.com. Use promo code FBOY. And uh, ticket, uh, not ticket. Ain't no tickets to that. Dicks are fifty percent off, ladies. Yeah. They know that. They know that my product. They know that. They know the promo. They know the pro. They know the promo code still works. All right, let's talk. My man Malik Zaire, former quarterback of Notre Dame, is in the building. Baby. What up, baby? baby. baby. New ma- former quarterback, no today. Now, my cousin just got to the league. I shot him out on the last one. I'm going to shout him out again. My cousin, Amir Smith Marset, man, is wide receiver. He played for the Vikings. I'm going to a game. Yeah. I'm, go- I'm going to the oh, game. No, no way. Well, I'm a- no, no, no. They got a game in L.A. this year. Is that right? They playing the Chargers. I'm going to go see him. I'm wearing his jersey. It's lit. But that's not what we got you on for. My- Malik, you got whiskey. But before we get to the whiskey, ladies and gentlemen, you've been asking, this is the episode I'm telling. Atlanta, Georgia. I will be there the entire weekend, June 18th to the 20th. Now, shows amount to be determined right now. But here's where we do know. We are having two parties. Two? We're having two. The first party, the first party is going to be Club Fuckboy in real life. <laughs> it's after hours, Friday night, 12 a.m. to 5 a.m. Uh, or until you feel like leaving. That's demon time. Man. I'm DJing. <laughs> Slow jams and R&B joints only. <laughs> All right? Not only that, there will be free alcohol. That's right. There will be your whiskey there. Nobody else, there will be nothing else to consume but your whiskey. I know some of y'all like, I got to have my Casamigos and blah, blah, blah. You drink that before the fuck you get here. (laughs) But when you come here, we got free alcohol. The whiskey's good. The only reason why I'm not on the podcast drinking is because I'm high. I don't need to be crossfaded. All right. Now, everybody's like, well, Clint, what is the ticket price? What's the ticket price? How much does it cost to come to this? You no, know it's the pandemic. If you got tickets to my show, if you bought, if you buy tickets to the show, it's free to get in. Look at that. If you buy tickets to the show, it's free to get in. Look at that. Now, oh, but wait a minute. If you don't want to come to the show, you be like, oh man, this nigga Clint ain't funny. I don't want to. I don't want to be there. 
My nigga, you paying a hundred dollars. A hundred dollars. Hundred dollars, dog. Dog. You, no, you paying a hundred dollars. Before you, you be like, yo, Clint, I want to go, but I don't want to see you perform. Hundred dollars, my man. Yeah, hundred dollars, my man. Yeah, yeah, hundred dollars, my man. Make the show. All right, it's lit. Oh, party number two. It's going to be in the daytime on June twentieth. That's a Sunday. It's also my birthday. That's right. I'm having a cookout. Sunday fun day. Sunday fun day. We're not doing. We're doing a cookout. Jeez. Spades. I'm DJing. Hey, you, how you DJing this show on party? Cause I want to. Okay. That's I want to. You must be MC. You know. You know what else is gonna be there? Free alcohol. That's right. Free alcohol. Free whiskey. Right. But now that we keep saying this free whiskey, give me that goddamn bottle. We gotta get the bottle. Here is the free whiskey. My man Malik Zaire came to me and said, Clint, I got a whiskey called Anora. Anora. Clint, what can you do? I said, I'm going to taste the whiskey. Now, the other bottle is in there that I have already tasted. I said, I'm going to taste the whiskey. I said, I like said whiskey. That's right. He said, Clint, I want to sponsor your events. This is officially now sponsored by Anora Whiskey. Anora Whiskey. Get yours. Get yours. Now, tell me about the whiskey, man. So the whiskey is a 21% rye bourbon mash. Okay. It's matured in lightly toasted Irish oak. So it's like a bourbon. Mature and lightly toasted in Irish oak. That's right. You know, we do it the best. And this is black owned. And it's black owned and the juice comes out and it's great about it because it brings out the vanilla. It has a little bit of caramel. Okay. A little bit of butterscotch. Okay. You know, it's, that, it's that drink you can have in the daytime, in the evening, or even if you're having a Sunday. It sounds rehearsed. It's not. <laughs> it's, it's, it's as smooth as the whiskey. Now that's right. no, I believe that. But here's what I'm gonna do, though. No, no, no. Here's what I'm gonna do. But see, like, I think that what we do, what we're gonna do at these parties, is instead of just having, like, you, you, we're not gonna just be pouring you a Nora and that's it. No, no. No, we're gonna we're gonna have no, no. special drinks for you at these events. That's right. You can you can get the fuck boy. You you, you that means you could get it straight up, no chaser. That's hard to do. You could get the nice guy. <laughs> Oh. That means it might be watered down a little bit. <laughs> Not the real? You can get the take me home. Mm. You know what I mean? That's the one. You can get the do you need a t-shirt? <laughs> do you need a t-shirt? <laughs> Meaning you come in to spend a night when you drink this motherfucker. Oh, well, yeah, that's right. We'll figure it out. We'll figure out the combinations and we'll get a mixed allergist to specially make special drinks for these parties. And here's the best thing about these events too, man. It's going to be a limit capacity. It is invite. Like you're not going to know about it unless I send you the RSVP link once you get your tickets. This is like, hey, everybody and their mama can't come to this motherfucker. They can't. This means this is for us. If you fuck with me, if you've been fucking with me on the podcast, you fuck with me on the live, you you fuck with me on the show. You fuck if you fuck with me. This is the party. This is this is where we gonna be. This is we we having fun. That's why it's fun, free, dog. Man. Ain't nothing. We ain't trying to make no money off this joint. We just try to have fun, dog. That's and I'm DJ. And then last but not that's right. least, that, he said that's right. That's and then last but not least, um, one thing I like about these parties is you know we can't have a party without me trying to hook motherfuckers up. If you were at the Atlanta, the last Atlanta live podcast, that was Valentine's Day back. In 2020, right mm. before the pandemic hit, we had wristbands when you came. We had wristbands when you came. Why is that? So it could d- differentiate. So oh. red wristband means you are in a relationship or you do not want nobody to deal with you. You're off limits. Red means you're off limits. Yellow means either it's complicated or say something good. I, I might, I might, I might, depending <laughs> on what you're saying. Sing blue means I'm single and I'm here to mingle. That's the one. That's Green the means I'm down to fuck. Everybody will be given a wristband in this party. Oh, jeez. And both it's yeah, dog. Shoot That's your shot. That's better than silent party. That's better. No, because my thing is it's better to have that than to try to go up to a chick and she got a red wristband on. Fuck her. <laughs> You know what I mean? But if she got on a if she got on a yellow or green joint or red joint, slide in there and talk about it. Say what's up. All right. So that's what we doing though, man. All right. So let's get into the topic. Yes, sir. Let's get into the topic. This is what people came for. This is what we're talking about. All right. So Atlanta is lit June 18th to the 20th. Um, the end the details or the, the link to get tickets to the show will be uh released next week. So we're not releasing tickets till next week because it's gonna be a high demand and motherfuckers. Yeah, so we, yeah, we gotta do it absolutely. in a good way. So yeah, next week, definitely tickets for this joint is going on sale. And then all the all the information about the party, meaning like you'll have the address, 
or everything. It's gonna yeah. be dope. So it's gonna actually, but it, but I'm letting y'all know it is 100 percent happening. It's no maybe no more. It's no like I I might. We doing it. We doing it. We doing it. All right. Now, here is the topic. This is what I was talking about. So today on the advice from a fuckboy Instagram, ladies and gentlemen, a friend of mine, her name is Kiana. She's a very dope singer out of New Orleans. She says, fellas, if you're going to fly a woman out, you should at least have 1K of disposable money to spend. Mm. She said you should at least have $1,000 in in disposable money. Mm. All right, it's a hefty, at least a thousand dollars. Now, when I read it the first time I read it, at first I was like, a thousand dollars. Yeah, that costs a lot of money for, for the two weekend. days. That's for a lot. Days? That's a lot. Well, we'll say three. Okay, we'll say three. Okay. Friday, Saturday, Sunday, go home Monday. That's a weekend. That's a full weekend. All right. I, then I understood the context of which he was saying it is. My thing is, is this. She's not saying that you need that you need to spend a thousand dollars on her. She's saying if you're going to fly me out, I don't want you penny pinching the entire fucking weekend. Good grief! Like it's nothing worse than when you got to make it. You make a purchase and you got to keep checking your fucking account. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like she wants you to. We should be able because like, she ain't broke. No. So my thing is she no, can she afford her own stuff just like you can afford your own stuff. My thing is, though, if you're inviting somebody out for the weekend, you should be prepared to spend money. She's not saying she's going to take up $1,000 to spend. You know what I'm saying? So if you treat and you eating. If you, I mean, okay. My <laughs> thing is, no, my thing is, if you're inviting a chick out, if you're flying a chick out, man, you should be, you should be, you should be willing to, you should be willing to pay for stuff. Okay. You should be, you should be, no, I'm sorry, you should expect to pay. Now, if she, I'm pretty sure most, most grown women don't let you pay for everything the whole weekend. Yeah, but that's, but that's a different level. That's though. a different, yeah. That's the, the level that But what, what she's saying is at. don't be out here penny pinching. So let me yeah. ask you, you ever flew, you ever, you've flown a chick out before, haven't you? Yes. Now, did you pay for the whole weekend? How was that? What, what did you spend? What did you spend in a weekend when you flew? First of all, how much was the flight? See, first it was, it was, it's levels. It's levels to it. Was this, it's, I don't count flying your girlfriend out. No, right. Okay. I, it's, it's a, a high value compared to. No, no, don't speak Kevin Samuels. No, on this. it's a high value no, compared no, to. No, bro, bro. Okay, okay. Let no me tell you. Value. Let yes, me tell you my two experiences. No, no though. Kevin Samuels shit on here. Okay. <laughs> yeah, none of that. No high value. I don't want. I don't want to hear that. <laughs> you know what I mean? Okay, two experiences. Okay, so one was something I've been I've been working. Well, no, say on. what you was about to say. You said high value. Say what okay, you so to say. there's there's levels to it. There's there's <laughs> flying out. You know a nine ten, and then there's flying out. You know a seven or an eight or or a six. You know, I think it's for different needs. Now, if it's something you've been working on for a long time, I think it's something you need to go all out for when it when it comes to it. If you've been waiting a long time, a long period of time, I would say a three to four month period. Yeah. You've been waiting for a good minute. You done got it. You got the right words together. Got it to come out. Yeah. That's something that you, you spend it on the high end. Right. You, you wanted to come back, you know, but then there's others, you know, let's say you fly into a nice city. Something goes on that you that you need some company with. It it might not be the same type of value, but you know you want to make it. You want to have fun. Right, 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 right. Money either. So right, and and that's the thing. It's it. like you don't want to be in a situation, you know. And they were telling you get a little closer to the mic. Okay. Um, but yeah, one of the things is you don't want to be in a situation where you feel like you're 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 you you can't do something because you pension pennies. Yeah. No way. You know what I'm saying? No way. You know, hold on, plug in your mic back, let me see. Are oh, you good? You good? You good? We good? We yeah, good? you should be good. Okay, All right, we should be good. Yeah, I don't want you. I don't want you feeling like you know you're you're you know you don't want to feel like you're pinching pennies the entire time. You know what I'm saying? Like nobody wants to feel like you know. Oh man, I can't do this, or oh man, I can't do that, or oh man, this is this because you 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 financially strapped, or yo, okay, how about this? You think it's a turn up, or t- I mean, not a turn up, a turn on, if a chick, is it a turn on, think about it like this, how do you think a woman would feel if we, if we say, yo, baby, I'm gonna fly you out, and yeah, but yo, I'm only spending $200 this weekend, 
they should feel great. That's an upfront, <laughs> that's an upfront type of guy. That's a guy that's gonna tell you the truth. Right there. That's a guy that's gonna you tell you the truth. You said they should feel great. Yeah. You said they should feel great. They should feel great because what guy is gonna be that honest, number one? If yeah. a guy is that honest and he's telling you, you need to, you need to do whatever it takes on that trip. Yes. Like, sure. I mean, for me, if That's I, courage. I don't, I don't think that I would, if I was a chick <laughs> at 30 something years old, I don't think I want to hear some man tell me, oh, you only got two, you got a $200 limit. Like, see, see, nigga, who yeah. the fuck is you? Like, I, I, you know, I'll be mad as shit if, if some, like, if, if, if I'm a girl. Okay. And some niggas are like, yo, I'm going to fly you out. You're like, all right, bet. You know what I mean? And she hits you with the, yeah, but you only, I mean, you know, she hit, he hit me with the, oh, you only got $200. Nah. That could be kind of like a game show. You that's know? some like nut-ass shit, get, though. That's get, I don't play them there. That's some nut-ass <laughs> shit, man. That's some nut-ass shit. That's nut shit, man. It, I is, it might be. I can't fuck with that. I can't fuck with that. Now, I understand that nigga who, who's honest, though. Yeah. But here's the thing. Guys, there's a such thing as too much information. You don't have to lead with that. You don't have to say there's only two hundred dollars I'm spending. That's true. In your mind, have it like, all right, I'm only spending two fifty this weekend. So make sure that you got dope ass activities. Be a great planner. Just figure it. Out. <laughs> yeah, you got to figure it out, my man. So if you know, like, you better be picking the places to eat, yeah. so you know the price range that you know. Just in case she decide I want a glass of wine and food, and, I mean, and salad. And- yeah, you got the KYP. We learned that in football It's called know your personnel. You know, you gotta know who you dealing KYP. with. KYP. KYP, you know who you're dealing with. If you know that you don't got the bands up and you know she's a pricey, you might can't fly her out this month. First of all, I'm not flying out nobody that's pricey. <laughs> you, you're absolutely right. I don't even, first of all, and, and ladies and gentlemen, on this podcast, you know we don't really have these, the fly out conversation. Okay. But every once in a while, we got to talk about it because it's the summer and it's about to start happening. You know what I'm saying? It's the summer. Motherfuckers about to start get, getting flued out. Okay. So now the question is, is like, okay, fellas, like, how do you do this? I'm going to tell you, all right, when we come back, you know, I, I, this, I act like this is a real radio show. We go, you should. When you we should. Come it's back, a show. When we come back from the break, you know what I'm saying? That's we, right. When we come back from the break, <laughs> <laughs> we come back on the other side. <laughs> that's like, means something different. It yeah, means I mean, different. when we come back on the other side, I'm going to tell y'all, though, I'm going to give y'all a, a way, a way to, you know, we we can we can circumvent this whole situation. Okay. We can get you. We can get you a good fly. Some answers. No, we can just get you. Listen, we, we won't we won't have you spending a thousand dollars. Some fellas can't can't afford that. Yeah, I know they can. It's gonna be. Tough. We won't have you spending a thousand dollars this weekend. But, I yeah. will show you how you could have a good weekend for three hundred dollars, meaning a hundred dollars a day. Is that possible? It's possible. What if you really like her though? Is that possible? It is. Oh, okay. All, all, all is fair if you really like her, bro. Okay. Three hundred dollars, I can, I can, I can hook you up. Man, you must. When we come back on the other side, man. No matter what city you in. No matter, cause think about it. It, it dates definitely cost, depends on city. Cause if you, if you in L. A., you definitely need a thousand dollars. I'm mean, yeah. yeah. I'm gonna have to go True. ahead. If you in L. A., my bad. You know what? If you in L. A., if you in New York, you in Miami. Because a side salad is $15. A for those. side salad. <laughs> for those wondering, $15. A side salad. <laughs> a side salad is definitely $26. Oh, yeah. It's you got to add the tax and tip. Yeah, tax and tip. The tip is crazy. The tip. They already include tip. You know, there's motherfuckers the who live in where I live who only waiters. See, that's a problem. How? Because they the make. Because they, they work at like Ruth Chris. <laughs> <laughs> With no my, extra services? My man Young Sibba said, that's dead. $1,000 in a week and you my girl. <laughs> I mean, that's fair. It's fair. You definitely my girl. Well, yeah, we well, something, well, yeah. Well, I got you. I got you, though. $300, I'll show you how you can do this on the other side. We'll be right back. All right. Um, don't forget, ladies and gentlemen, this podcast is brought to you by Glitz Optical. Please do me a favor. If you want the Tony Starks, follow Glitz Optical on Instagram at G-L-I-T-Z-O-P-T-I-C-A-L. Now, this is black-owned business, black woman. And again, this ain't no woman just selling glasses. This is a woman that cares about your eyesight and your vision and making sure that you look good while you're doing it. Glitz Optical, baby. That's right. Bling. All right. Here we go. We back. Fellas, I'm going to tell you how you can have 
a three hundred dollar weekend. I think it's impossible. No, if like I said, if you're in L.A., if you're in New York, if you're in Miami, if you're, if you're this don't this don't apply to you. But what if we talking about love? If you love, you love no, more no, than no, three hundred dollars. Listen, loving somebody when you fly them out that doesn't count. <laughs> you're not flying some. That's not a fly out. That's let's that's <laughs> that's not a fly out. That's I want to see you. That's a, that's a big difference. Okay, fly out means okay. fly out insinuates we fucking. Okay, so at least the line is drawn. Fly, I mean, like, if I love you, I don't care how much we spend in this week. And if I love you, I can fly her out for free. Okay. Like, what I mean is, like, you know, if, if you if we love each other, and, you, and I pay you for your ticket to come out here, you chances are you only cost $3 this weekend. <laughs> we, like, so we, okay, so we specifying. Yeah, like. Specifically how we No, somebody that you know, like, like, listen, and Rita P said it best. She said, if you fly me out, I assume you can afford the weekend to your pockets. That's fair. That's fair. That's fair. That's fair. That's fair. That's fair. If you love, if I love you, that's different. It's different. Because that means she's probably, like I said, she, more than likely, if we in love, she's probably, she probably fly herself out. Like, come on, dog. Like, y'all meeting up somewhere. Like, it's different. But the, the pockets do matter. Yeah, but I mean, we not talk, like money don't matter when you in love. I don't know if that's true. No, when I'm, <laughs> well, you, you're being, you're being, you're being, you're being, you're playing semantics. It does matter. <laughs> what I'm saying is, when it comes to seeing each other, money does not matter when you're in love. You don't think I, if I love you, I'm not thinking about how much it costs. But it does money. if you're hungry. That's well, that's that's your problem. <laughs> you, you can't afford to be in love, then, my man. You need, to, you know, what I mean, love is for the love. Love, love ain't for broke niggas. <laughs> but some of them like them healthy meals, them lobsters and steaks right, so and did, shrimps. That's and... what we about to have this conversation. Okay, fair enough. Wish we had this conversation. <laughs> Let's do this. Here will we go. If a girl flies out, okay, you already bought the ticket. Which is a, a good band. No, that's not a thousand dollars. If she's coming from far? No. I mean, who are you flying out? You flying out the chicks foreigns. from South Bend? You like the foreigns, right? No, I like black women. Okay. I don't like, uh, I like I'm flying out black women, Cape bro. Cape Town? That's a big, that's a big ticket. I, I'm not flying nobody from no fucking Cape Town. <laughs> I'm flying women from Baltimore. <laughs> I'm flying women from from New York, Brooklyn, that's right, that's Atlanta, right, that's Chicago, right. Them Philly, burrows, them burrows. especially Philly Jones. That's I'm right. I'm flying my Jones out. <laughs> I'm not flying out. Yeah, I'm not. Yeah, no. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not flying out no chick from London. But what kind of flight is it? You gotta talk no, about I'm, that. No, I'm no, I'm not cheap. So I'm you gonna be on American or you gonna be you gonna be on American Delta or uh, Delta's the right or answer. United? No, no, no. The, they one got of those, the cheese. It's okay. It don't matter. It's the point is now. you're gonna have a confirmed seat. <laughs> you're gonna have it. You're not gonna be on standby. <laughs> you're not gonna be. You're not gonna be on standby. You're not gonna be 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 trying to figure out like questioning if I'm gonna make it. You're or not gonna not. have six connected flights. Okay. <laughs> Depending on what city you're coming. So like if you're coming from like Kansas City, you might have a connect. You might. You might. You might. But most of the man, yeah, we talking from, red eyes. Or you, oh, any, if you any coming any from Philly, like I get you a direct. I'm, oh. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'll get you, you must direct. be a special lady. No, it's not special. You, you, you niggas. Yo, this is bare, <laughs> this is bare minimum, dog. Like, oh, okay. you special if you get a direct flight. Okay, the bar is set high. Okay. It's not high, That's, dog. Like, oh, le, yo, if listen, first of all, I got a sister. <laughs> Any nigga, if you fly my sister out and it ain't no like, yo, you're not gonna have my sister. Nah, she ain't gotta have first class, but my nigga, you could you she can get gotta have leg room. She got no. I mean, she just b- b- fly her the way you would fly, my man. Let's see, okay, that's fair. Don't disrespect my that's sis. That's fair. That's fair. So, all right, so we, you you get fly flew you get flown out on on or, respectable on, uh, seats. You're gonna get respectable seating. That's fair. You're gonna get a window or an aisle seat. See, you're not going. Yeah, no, no economy, no basic economy. You mm. can check a bag. Uh, I, mean, I will pay for said check bag. Okay, I pay for check bags. So when does the paying start? Let's talk about I'm that. About, okay, but hear me out. We get flown out, <laughs> all right? The works. Okay. Now, then there's meeting her. You got to meet her at the airport. No Ubers. No, no Uber. No, no. You got even meet. if it's an XL. No, even no. You can Uber black. If, if if you're going to Uber, if you're not going to meet her there, you got to Uber her. Uber black her. Oh. You got to yeah, Uber right. black her. Okay. I can, gotta, ride, yeah, with you gotta, I can you gotta, ride with that. I can ride with that. Got to Uber black her. Absolutely, you got to Uber black her. Uber black only, fellas. Got to Uber black her. No mistaking it. Yes. Yeah, Uber Black. You know what I'm she's saying? waiting. Because, yeah, exactly. She you, might be leaving. And you want the ride to be comfortable. <laughs> yeah. Then, okay, now here's where it begins. So Friday night, bro, she's probably, you You don't fly her out all day. You get her You get her on the, on the evening flight. You get her, she comes to your house. Now, by the time you guys get to your house, it's probably like 7.30, 8 o'clock. 
Yo, y'all, she probably tired from a flight and shit like that. That's right. She had a long day. Just as long as you got food at the house, you got entertainment at the house, $40 for that night. Oh, so you cooking. Not really cooking, but you got something prepared that that looks decent. But not leftovers. Just No, like there's a spot over here called Louisiana Charlie's. We with that. Get you some catfish. You get you some, yeah. You lay that shit out, dog. So start local. Yeah, so what you t- <laughs> you know what I'm saying, though? The same night, though, the same night. You, she probably tired. You, you got food. That's right. So you, that's that's like forty, fifty dollars. What's crucial is that you talked about the evening flight because you know you saving yourself so a the lot. whole day. See, she not gonna be See? hungry twice. <laughs> she only gonna be hungry once. She go eat in that airport if it's late enough. Yeah, but th- you're not paying for that. <laughs> you're not paying for that. You paying for when you get there. When you get on, the, when you get her on, you you, you get her, you, you get her from the airport. You gonna be like, yo, you hungry? You hungry? That's the that's the first you question. Hungry? That's the she first gonna, question. She gonna be like, she not gonna feel like going out out to eat because that means right. that means she got to get dressed. She got to look good. Because that's gonna take it two hours. That's ten o'clock. That's ten o'clock. You're now. not making it there. You're not making it now. Yeah, yeah. So just yeah. Just have some shit. You know what I'm saying? That's a that's a gym now, fellas. It has the flight has to land after six, seven o'clock. <laughs> Come on, bro. <laughs> I'm already ahead of this. So now, let's say you spend fifty dollars on that. Okay, you got two fifty for two days now. See, that's an easy. That's an easy. Now, now, now you we cut half the day. Now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Through travel, you cut half. The All day, right. Now. So now Saturday, right? You got to do some activities. You got to do some activities now. Food and drink that day alone might be like. But what time are you starting? Are you brunching thing. or are you early hiking and all Here's that the thing, nature right? walking? Here's the thing: Sunday is brunch. Fact. That's where you. That's where you're gonna spend your most money. All right. You could cut the cost with some friends. You know, get a come in on some day party yeah, stuff if you want. But brunch <laughs> is where you is where you're gonna spend some money. Fact. And even brunch really ain't that expensive to be honest with you. Depends on where you go. Yeah, it's not that bad. Listen. Fellas, this is the problem with niggas. Niggas don't read. You don't look at menus ahead of time. So you don't know what's... You know what I mean? Me, I know where I'm going. Okay. All right? So if I'm, I'm not leaving it up to her. If I don't, if I know I don't got money, I'm not leaving it up to her. It's a limited... It's limited spots that you're looking at. Yeah. It cuts the... It cuts the... Cuts the short. Yeah. It, don't forget, <laughs> fellas, you got home court advantage. Facts. She's in your... She's in your space. You don't you, you you know where the spots is at. That's all you gotta do. <laughs> and if you don't you know, know who got the face, you got cards. some homegirls who know. Yeah, facts. You got some homegirls who know. And fellas, you get your skills right, you may not have to go too many places. Bro, you you gotta do listen, Saturday you gotta do an outdoor activity. Okay. okay. You gotta do something like you gotta do some shit. But see, what I would do is depending on again, what city you in, yo. Yeah. You know what I mean? If she's never been there. My nigga, you, you all you gotta do is drive around, see drive shit. Drive around, talk, talk. All you gotta do is drive around and see shit. Yeah. Oh, I got hungry. Oh, let's go get some Panera. <laughs> Facts, cause she's impressed with the effort. Yeah, she don't give a fuck. About, yeah, let's go. Yeah, what effort. You, it's, look, I want to keep riding around. You see something? You see something you like? We can stop. We can stop. It's I'm not I'm saying it has to be Panera, but I'm saying it's on. It's Panera price. It's on the way. Yeah, dog. <laughs> <laughs> it's on the way. <laughs> <laughs> you got to ask the question as you're going to something. you going to something, you ru- in a rush. Yeah. That's where you get the food questions in. Yeah, you be like, yo, like, yeah, I dog. I know we about to head this museum, but you trying to yeah, eat real quick? You go- real quick. That's a $15 or less question. Yo, g- no, I got even better, John. I got a better, John. Taco truck, nigga. See? Nigga, nigga, see. Like, yeah. you see, you ain't got food trucks everywhere, guys. Nigga, you go to the taco truck. You, listen, <laughs> you get you get you three fish tacos. She get three fish tacos. And she's impressed by the experience. Yeah, see, that's no, different. Sad, yeah, no, you good. <laughs> now you're at 6 o'clock. <laughs> now you're at 6 o'clock. Because you're going to have to eat good. If you know you don't have money, you better cook. You got to cook Saturday You got to cook. You got to cook. But here's what you got to do. You got to act like, this is what you got to do. What I would do, here's what I would do. I would I would hit her with the with the with the yo get dressed, <laughs> get dressed, blah 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 blah. And I would already cook some shit, and I would call my man like, bro, can you service? Okay, bro, can you service? While she getting dressed, you gotta be while she's in the shower. Blah, you got 30, 30, 40 minutes. Your man coming over and be there waiting. But for the him. service gotta be better. Your man's got your back. Then you the just food. Gotta, 
It got to be better than No, you food. can cook. I can cook. So I don't... Yeah, okay. Food good. Okay, see? Your skills have to be right, fellas. So, yeah, no, but your man... No, you, you just call your man like, yo, bro, can you can you throw on a suit and service? Yeah. Yeah, you ain't got nothing to do tonight. Can you throw on a suit and service? Yeah. All right, so you got your suit on. She comes out, the, she comes out ready. You're already ready, but the food is prepared, blah, blah. In the living room. In the living room. <laughs> In the living room, dog. In the living room. Candles, all of that. She don't even know what's about to hit her. You got music. Would you think she would be impressed? Yes. You think so? Absolutely. And not disappointed. You know, no. they like to take the pictures in front of the, you, the you, Nobu. It's one thing to take a picture the, in front of Nobu. It's another thing to take a picture in front of a nigga that, that, that got dressed up and cooked. <laughs> Get the fuck out of here. Now you can, if you don't, if you mad at that, then you can go the fuck home. See, you flying out the perfect type now. Yeah. Because, you know, some come well, with expectations. Huh? Some come with expectations. That ain't my problem. <laughs> that ain't that ain't that ain't my problem. That's not my problem. I mean, that's I not my problem. That, okay. that, that's the shit you dealt with when you was in your twenties, man. No, see, that's you still in your twenties, man. See, that's where it's at. These young Jones are stupid. <laughs> So they don't, they don't, they don't know, man. So you don't, you don't credit it to the bar being raised. The bar is not even that high, though. Expectation? No, you got girls like Saweetie out here. That's a, she's a fucking star. Okay, but they look at that. Instagram don't. That's you not know. my. Well, any girl that thinks that Saweetie is her idol, then I, that's not who I deal with. That's right. I don't. You first that's of all, right. before that's I, right. before I fly you out too, man. Like we having these conversations. Who do you like? You fucked up over there too. This <laughs> wait, does who do you like value <laughs> over what do you look like? <laughs> Asking does who do you like value over what do you look like to you? What do you mean? Who do I like value? To, in, in terms of flying out, you flying out? I don't fly. I, I fly out substance. Okay. I don't fly out. I don't like. You okay. gotta look nice, and you gotta have like. I don't you, feel like that applies to most men. Oh, that's not my problem. Okay. I don't. We, but we don't, we, but you, we, a part we, of the, you part of you. You a part we of the. Speak the nigg- the niggas. Who, first of all, you gotta remember when people listen to a podcast, they choose to listen to this podcast. <laughs> meaning, if you choosing to listen to this podcast, meaning you, you agree. You <laughs> no. You don't have to agree with me. I don't think you should agree with me. But if you're choosing to listen to this podcast, you at least you're open minded enough to understand. Like, hey, my man. Like we not we not we not we not flying out Cape Town bitches. <laughs> we fly out substance over here. That's brother. right. The men who listen to this podcast, they <laughs> we not on that, dog. We 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 don't we not see here's what I want men to understand, dog. The men who listen to advice from a fuckboy, we're not thirsty. That's right. We are we are very well hydrated men. Ladies, we don't give a fuck if you got a fat ass, or big titties, or anything. We like we 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 fly out substance. We date substance. Do you got skills? We date women who got conversation. Okay. You don't got conversation. You 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 don't you can't hang with the niggas who listen to this podcast. Can't. We we talk to grown women. Grown. Grown women. If you yeah, that, if you that do yeah. they that do they own taxes. Uh, that, well, no, uh, no, that doesn't mean you're grown. If, <laughs> I mean, uh, you know, <laughs> that's, it's a very low bar. That's, that's a low so, bar? Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. Somebody, raise the bar yeah, for me. Yeah, right. hoes do their own taxes. Okay, okay, give me an example of a raise, raise the bar for me. Uh, we just, we we fly out women who just, you know what? You know the kind of women we LLC? fly LLC? LLC women? No, Because <laughs> <laughs> we, we don't LLC complain women. about that. <laughs> we don't complain about the LLC ones. They <laughs> license. Said we fly out LLC. <laughs> See women. <laughs> that might be the one to go to. I can't lie. Because <laughs> costs will be different. It's a different mindset. Yo, I'm through, dog. <laughs> oh, man. LLC women. Oh, man. I'm done. <laughs> no. All right. All jokes aside. No, we fly out women. Like one, like just, just you, you grown, dog. You, you not. See, you ain't on nut you, shit. You want responsible though. We gr- like okay, won't. the kind of women we fly out, or the women who don't need you to fly them out. You doing it because you appreciate them. They don't need you. They don't need you to fly. No, no woman has ever been fucking. I, they don't need you to fly them out. They got, they got three fifty for a round trip. Okay. They got the women I fuck with got three fifty for a round trip. What is the what is paying for it guaranteeing in your mind? Paying for it, it shows intention. Paying for it is saying, I want to see you. I'm going to make sure it happens. Paying for it says, if I'm yeah, if I'm trying to see you, I don't need you to check your finances. I got that. <laughs> okay. The only thing you need to do is let me know when you free. Oh, okay. Facts, paying facts. for it is saying, I'm going like I want to see you. 
How much is it? Three fifty nothing. Now, now there is a difference between flying on the weekend and flying on the weekday. I, I don't care. I'm the, it doesn't matter when you when you See, fly. See, that's I, different though. It's different. I, I mean, who cares? I mean, if you got three days off during the week, then come fly. Come come see me on Tuesday. See the LLC ones is on the weekday. <laughs> <laughs> they got their old time schedules. Oh man. <laughs> the weekends is just another day. You know, them the ones. Oh, dog, this episode <laughs> gonna be called Flying Out LLC Women. <laughs> oh, man, we come back, man. We gonna keep talking, man. Yo, this is funny as shit. <laughs> oh, man, don't forget, this podcast is not only brought to you by Gliss Optical, but this podcast is also now brought to you by your liquor. Lenora Whiskey, baby. You know Lenora how we get Whiskey, down. Lenora Whiskey, baby. We're giving away... How many bottles we want to give away? We want to give away at least five or ten. No, no, know, wait, wait, no, no, wait, wait. You, you, you're a little tipsy. How many bottles can we give we're away? We're a very generous company. You know, it's more about the connectivity. We want people to know what we got and know our juice is good. So, so let me ask you this. How much, how much is the whiskey? So the whiskey is $50. So and just this, this bottle right here is $50. This bottle right here is And to is me, I'm, I'm going to be honest with you. When I, when I drank it, it tastes like $50 whiskey. That's okay. I don't feel like I don't feel like that's cheap. Like I know I know the difference. Like I, I drink two Lamar Do. I don't promote li- like I'm gonna tell y'all this right now too. I don't I don't care if it's black owned or not. I'm gonna just be honest. That's right. I don't promote liquor. I don't fuck with. Good is good. You know what I'm saying? If it's good whiskey, you know what I'm saying. At the end of the day, I think that when it comes to brand name and brand recognition, I think that we drink honestly what people tell us to drink. Like unfortunately, like to me, like I when I used to drink l- vodka, people would always say Ciroc, 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 Ciroc. To me, is not even the best vodka. It's, it's really not. Kettle One. But you don't have, but you don't have. Diddy saying Kettle One is the best vodka, so Not we don't want to drink that. My thing is, is that look, I'm putting, I'm telling y'all this. I had that whiskey. That shit is good. I would definitely buy. I would buy a fifty dollar bottle of that um, if it were in stores. And I but did we got to talk about the occasions in which you would buy it. It's no, 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 no. It's no, not really. Because my thing is, why do I need a special occasion? Oh, to buy we didn't 50- say special. We just said the occasions in which this. Can occur. No, I like to drink. I like having good. Like, here's the thing. At this age, bro, I'm 35. I got good liquor in my house. <laughs> so, like, I don't every if I go over a grown ass man or a grown ass woman's house. I should be. You should be able to offer them a drink. That's right. If you go over somebody's house, you should be able to offer them an alcoholic beverage. That's right. I have a tequila here. I have a vodka. Casamigos. I do. I actually do have Casamigos. See, that's yeah, how you so know he's I have, mature. I have, I have tequila. I got lick. I got uh, whiskey. I got uh, bur- I got all that. I yeah. have. I have liquor in here because at the end of the day, that's not a bad investment. It's not. So here's what I'm saying. So I want to give away about. Let's give away five bottles. Let's give away five. All right, let's give away five bottles. Um, how do they get these five bottles? Mm-hmm. All right, no, they have to follow you, right? Not you, but the follow, follow Anora Whiskey. What is the uh, what's Instagram Anora Whiskey? Just to straight out O N Anora Whiskey. So, okay, so you don't even know how to spell it right now. See, so Anora is O N O. Is it O N O R A? Come on, man, the bottle right there. The bottle right there. O N O R A whiskey on Instagram. I'm teasing. Anora whiskey, yes. O N O R A whiskey. Make sure you subscribe and on Instagram, on Twitter, it's everywhere. Facebook. Follow on Instagram. Prove to me that you follow by taking a screenshot of it. The first five people to do that. We'll get five. We'll get. We'll and send it to me in the DM. So send it to the advice from a fuckboy DM. Hold Get on, your, but give but give some advice too. We want this to be qualified people. We giving it to. So if you are gonna send it in the the no, Clint, make no. sure you give some qualified everybody advice. Everybody who listens, we to want this, some qualified no, no, advice. No, no, everybody though. who listens to the podcast is qualified people. No, no, no. Or a good review. How about that? A good no, review. They don't need to give you a good review. They getting the liquor. They getting the liquor. They gonna Even drink better. it. They're not. First of all, nobody lets good whiskey go to waste. They don't. So I pr- don't. I'm pretty sure if you get. The, when they get the bottle in the mail and they be like, oh shit, we like it. I guarantee you they'll be like, oh, somebody will shot. It. Like, come on, man. We, you don't, we like you don't tell don't tell people to shout it out. Just let it do it. Let it happen organically. Let it happen organically. Because I'm, I'm telling I'm, here's the thing. I see that you're eager in promoting the whiskey. The liquor, the whiskey's gonna speak for itself. That's right. But let me do the speaking for it. Let me constantly tell people how great it is. I told you, I wouldn't get on brand with the whiskey if I didn't like it. That I wouldn't support it if I didn't like it. I have no stake. Trust in, in, I'm trust in Clint, this, man. Trust in Clint, man. So, like I said, y'all going to have, we're going to have nothing but a Nora whiskey there. Now, we already said it. And don't motherfucker, don't get cute, you know, next month. And we find out we ain't got no liquor. Like, <laughs> That's right. Because I'm going to have all cute. them niggas, I'm going to have everybody hit y'all up and be like, y'all ain't shit. Yeah. And then like we're going to get somebody, we're going to get Ciroc. No, I'm playing. But a Nora whiskey. 
There it is. All right, man. What did we learn today, Malik? What did we learn today? We talked a little bit about, man, that, that what you spend it, but what you spend it is under five hundred dollars. So I need to know the secrets. Well, I said under three, and I was able to make that happen by <laughs> you calling up your homeboy and also cutting down time. You know what I'm saying? Now we also didn't really get into Sunday. Sunday is the brunch day. That's Sunday the day where brunch. you go. You got it. You got it. You you gonna have to spend like that's a, the most. That's you might, the most. Yeah, you gonna spend one hundred fifty dollars. Be prepared to spend one hundred fifty dollars. <laughs> that's half the. That's half now. But my thing is, you spend one hundred fifty dollars there. You spend fifty dollars cooking. You spend fifty dollars the day before. That's uh, that's that's two. That, that's two fifty. How you gonna spend fifty dollars on a Saturday? You gotta have a hell of events. No, I said no, no. All you're doing is going to. You're going. You're doing. You're doing. You're doing outdoor. <laughs> act, you're driving outdoor no, activity. No, you're driving around. We remember we said you okay, driving, driving around. around. I don't cost nothing yeah. but gas. Okay, yeah. That's and then you said that you hungry on the way there, nigga. That's Panera bread. That, <laughs> that's that's thirty. Panera out here is different now. She not going. But I'm saying she not going. She gonna get like a you pick two or some bullshit like that. See, some girls be hungry now on dates. We need to discuss but not, that. You're not we spending more than forty dollars in Panera. We should bread, discuss bro. that though. Some girls be What's hungry. Wrong with, no, let's, first of all, let me let me let me explain that, <laughs> ladies. If you want to date with me. And you're hungry. You better order everything the fuck you want and eat every goddamn drop of it. That's I don't right. want you looking cute, That's trying right. to be like, oh, uh, I don't know. I mean, no, nah, eat, sis. <laughs> eat. I know you big. I want. I like that shit. Eat. Facts. We definitely eat. like the women that I like want to eat. you to eat. I like that shit. The shit good. Have some more. You Have want some seconds, more. It's sis? Sexy. You it's want sexy. seconds? Now don't be. Don't be. Oh, don't be that. <laughs> But yeah, man, ain't nothing like a, a woman enjoying a good ass meal. That's right. Cause yeah, I'm gonna enjoy mine. Cause I'm gonna enjoy mine. Tear that shit up. Tear that shit up. I want the fuck the yams. Yeah. Tear up the collard green. Tear up the chi- all that. Starches and carbs. All that. Tear yeah. that shit up. Starches and carbs. Yeah, girl. man. Tear that shit. That's up. Don't what get we cute. Don't order cute in front of me. We going to a New Orleans. We going to a catfish spot. Get some fucking catfish. Yeah. We had a steakhouse. It's a fucking steak. With an extra roll. And it don't even got to come with dick. Ne- uh, yes, it does. Well, I mean, yes, it does. <laughs> <laughs> if you eat too good, we, you know, it's not always free. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, man. Yo, I hope guys took something out of this, man. Absolutely. Hey, Malik, for real quick, first of all, brother, it's good to see you again. You was on the podcast about a year ago. I ain't seen in a while because of the pandemic and everything like that. But I'm glad you're here, man. Glad you found something that you love in the middle of this, man. And you're transitioning from football into being an entrepreneur by having your own whiskey, man. And uh, I, I see it pay a dividends, man. And thank you for reaching out to me to wanting to even, you know, be a face of your liquor, man. I know that you see what I do with Tillamar doing. You know, this is is something that I always wanted to align myself with, which is a black owned whiskey company. And you know, and I always wondered why there wasn't more of those. So I'm I'm we fucking with this on this podcast, man. I love it, man. I appreciate it. Like I said, that bottle man. gonna stay right there for every episode. That's right. And if you ever had this man mac and cheese, you would know why I'm here today. Ah, yeah, yeah, really yeah, throw yeah. Down. Facts, he do facts. what it takes. And uh, you know, it's always good when you can unite. We need more black power, we need more unity. I'm glad that, you know, Clint found what he was looking for and I was able to provide it. We need more of that if we want to make it through these times. Yeah, that sounds positive. All right. Uh, don't forget, ladies and gentlemen, follow Anora Whiskey, O-N-O-R-A Whiskey on Instagram. If you We're giving away five free bottles. Um, thank y'all for listening. Oh, Atlanta, don't forget, it's happening June 18th to the 20th. I'm dropping the ticket link next week, all right? Again, be there, I'm be square, baby. the ticket link like next week, and then the party situation is going to be dope. So thank y'all for listening. Thank y'all for laughing. This podcast is over. <laughs>